Here with the Reaper. Well, I'm not here with him. I'm in the back seat. Rob's in the front because you just kicked my ass on uh, the UFC game, Rob. You're a goddamn bully. I did. I slept you. You slept, slept me good. <laughs> now, I'm behind the camera, so I don't know if you guys can hear me. Journalist Bisping, it's embarrassing. Uh, the rumoured fight, Rob, that's going round is Hamzat Chimia versus yourself. <sighs> Any truth to that rumour? Uh, nothing I can give you right now. It's... Uh... I, I didn't even see the first time I had heard about it was about a couple of days ago. Someone told me about the tweet, and uh, honestly, it's the same respectful tweet that a lot of other fighters yep. get out. But he's just got more cloud about him. Uh, very respectful. If that's something you actually want to do, we can talk. But yep. Like right now, my intentions are still the same as they've always been. I'm heading towards that UFC gold and just yeah, waiting for Alex Prayer and Israel to see what happens with them too. In a perfect world, would that be what you want next? A winner of Pereira and Izzy three. Yeah, definitely, because that that's that's the goal. That's my objective is, is getting the title back. Yeah. So, yeah, every step that leads that leads to, to that outcome is where I want to go. And obviously, Pereira's had the job done, what, three times now against Izzy. Yeah. Even though Izzy was way ahead, probably, what, three to one on the scorecards going into the fifth. How do you see this one going down between Izzy and him again? And I'm sorry, I know I asked you this question before, but I'm interested to get your take. It's 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 hard to tell you, say how Izzy's mental game is going to be after the third loss because I think there's two ways it could have gone. Like it could have gone like I can't beat this guy, and it's going to be real heavy in that fourth fight going in. Like when's he going to get me? Because yep. even though. The, is he was ahead three two maybe for that for that Pereira fight. Pereira seemed in control a lot of that fight still. He always seemed like he was a dangerous shot away from from taking it, which he proved in the later rounds anyway, which, which he did land. But it could also be the flip side of that, which is it's the worst has happened. You know, Pereira came to his division, his weight class, the UFC, beat him in the worst way possible, and. Now that frees him up. He's got no. He's got nothing on his shoulders. He's got no, no thoughts anymore because the worst has happened. It might free him up for that. Yep. For that fight. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Listen. Uh, you're in Perth. What do you prefer, Perth or Sydney? Which has got the better food? It's not a question, Sydney, mate. Which city's <laughs> got the better looking women? I mean, I know you're a married man, but you can observe from afar. I think Sydney's got the best of everything. The whole, the whole shebang. Well, better looking women than England. I'm a, I'm a Sydney. <laughs> Give me a coin. <laughs> uh, one Canadian meal that I have to have, uh, sorry, a Canadian Australian meal that I need to eat real quick to wrap this up, because we're pulling up at the hotel. Did you say one, one Canadian? Meal? The Australian meal. What is an Australian meal? What does it go to? What is the number one? Don't say bed, you might. No. Because Marmite's better. Sausage scissors, pretty good. All right, what's sausage that? Sausage sanger. Sausage sanger. Yeah. Sausage sanger. A banger sanger. Oh, what is it? <laughs> A banger sanger. Mike just sings into Marmite's better than Vegemite. <laughs> Real quick, Marmite's better than Vegemite. You're lost. All right, all right, take it easy. <laughs> Rob Whitaker.